So it's late December. There's no ice on the water. Looking forward to ice fishing, but I just can't yet. So we're gonna make a bait that I think would work really good in the winter for open water fishing because that's all we got right now. And you know, that does make for a pretty interesting video because that is a specific style of fishing when you're fishing open water in the winter. It's not easy. In our rivers, and pretty much every other river in America, you got a bunch of little bait fish that look just like this. And this probably isn't something brand new, but you don't see it that much. And what I'm thinking with this bait is treat this like a Sanko, where you use a Sanko worm, you just cast it out on a wacky rig. You can Texas rig it too. But a lot of the time people cast those out on a wacky rig with no weight, and it just bounces around and does the Sanko thing. That seems like it would be really good with a bait fish. I mean, that's what people do with live bait. You don't see that very often. A wacky rig style bait fish, soft plastic, kind of live bait imitation thing. It's like a Sanko. It's like a fisho. Call it the fisho. It's just a fish instead of a worm. That has to make sense, right? I think I'm just gonna score that with a knife. No need to use the saw. So we don't want this bait to just be flat. So we're gonna shape it to that angle from the top. I want this to get pretty thin towards the tail too. So it's got a good chance of being nice and flappy, you know? If I'm sent anything handmade, I'm going to showcase it because that's really cool. I'm all for um, people making stuff with their hands. And here's a piece that was sent to me by Joe Young. I think that's his full name. Young Knives is his uh, 
thing. And this is a Kiridashi style knife and it's exactly what I needed. It's got a two inch edge. It's a chisel bevel edge, which is what I needed also. So I can have my hand off to the side instead of behind what I'm working on. And you can have all sorts of control over the, uh, the angle that you're cutting in with something like this. Yeah, he asked me what I wanted. I told him this and it's perfect. Thank you, Joe. Let's drop my camera. Uh, get on Instagram. It's at young.knives. Check out more of Joe's work. Uh, link will be in the description too. Yeah, this thing sharpens up real nice too. Takes a really good edge. Get it hair popping sharp. Even put my logo on it. So I just kind of realized you guys might be wondering, uh, like, wait, what is he making? Because I didn't really describe it too well. It's not gonna have anything on the tail that gives it any kind of kicking action or swimming action. This is just like a dead, dead stick style bait. I think that's what you call it. So you can wig this, wig. You can rig this with just kind of like a wacky style with a hook through the top here. You can rig it on the nose for a drop shot style. You can put a jig on it. You might be able to uh, put a swim bait hook on it, like the thread thing on the front, and then it sticks out the back on the top of the fin here. But uh, that wouldn't have any uh, swimming action, so you probably wouldn't ever do that. But yeah, this winter, because there still is not ice on the water, I'm just looking for something that is an imitation of a shad and just flutters around and just moves with twitches, you know? Just really finesse kind of stuff. And yeah, this is gonna be soft plastic. I'm gonna make a mold of this, an injection style mold too, where the sprues come out the back of these two fins and the injection sites in the front and, and then you get it now, right? Little soft plastic shad bait. That's it. So when it comes to the carving detail on this little shad bait, I'm not getting detailed. I'm gonna leave it at the gills and then these three fins. That way I can paint everything else on. This is gonna be the first bait I've ever made where I'm gonna dip it in clear plastisol once I'm done. And that's gonna seal in all the paint so I can just use my uh, normal airbrush paints and see how that works. I heard it works pretty good. Well, at least I've heard that it actually works, giving it that clear plastisol clear coat after it's done. It goes over the eyes and everything and it seals everything in nicely apparently. So yeah, I'm gonna start sealing the wood on this piece and uh, smoothing it off. I'm gonna try to get this as smooth as possible. I'll be sanding it with 300 grit in between uh, dips of polyurethane.
So I'm ready to pour the first half of this mold. This is the what will be the injector and a plunger will come from the top here and inject the plastic into the body and then I'm going to cut some sprues out off the end of this tail. Two of them that connect to one piece that come up here. But yeah, this is ready to go. That went pretty smooth. I gotta be back out here at uh, 12 tonight to pour this other half, not complaining. I'll probably be up anyway. So. Okay. I was out here last night, I flipped this over and poured the other half. Now I'm gonna demold it. Or I'm just gonna take it out of the molding box. If you use a end grain on the inside of your molding box and you don't seal it over really, really well or smooth that off, the silicone will stick. I kind of forgot about that and took a chunk out of my mold right here. Good to know. Well, I already knew that, I just forgot. Happens a lot. It w I went silent there for a while because I was kind of worried, but it's not, it wasn't going good because the mold wasn't breaking on the right line. My mo I need to get better mold release because that was scary. There's some stuff I got to clean up here. Okay, this is one of the messier molds I've ever made. It didn't turn out all that well, but I'm thinking it's still gonna work. I cut out the channel in the back here and the two sprues coming off the tail fin go to this channel. So the plastic will get injected right there, shoot through the bait and come out here. Let's see how it goes. Just about have this plastic ready. One more heat up and then I'll inject it. Okay. My hopes aren't super high for this, but might have worked. We'll see how it turns out. There could definitely be some air bubbles in the fins, the top and the bottom fin. Fingers crossed. Oh, that worked. Oh no, it had air. As you can see, there's a big air bubble in the side. I think that's because I had a bunch of air in the injector and I shot it into the bait. I kind of thought I did that for a second. So let's just try it again and not do that. I'm just gonna keep shooting these till I get some good castings. I think this will work though. That's not gonna turn out good. I didn't wait long enough to let the mold release that I sprayed in it dry and it got all bubbly. <coughs> We'll try that again. <laughs> so I added a taper to the end of the plunger rod so all of the air can escape where the injector is and then it'll inject into the bait. I think that'll help. That seemed really good. I didn't even see any air bubbles come out of the sprue. Yep, that was a good one. I'll just keep doing that. So these little guys are gonna get some super simple paint jobs, just black top, and then I'm gonna spray some scales, black around the eye, then glue the eye on, and they'll be ready to go. Oh, and I have to dip them afterwards too. Yeah, that's gonna look good. That looks like a little shad, don't it? 
Here we go. Time to dip them in just some clear plastisol. I got them sitting in water right now. Man, those look good. Okay, they're done. I got them all dipped. They're all clear coated. Should probably show you guys. Those look good. I'm gonna start the day just using drop shot rigs. I need to go to the store and uh, buy the right hooks and stuff. I think I need some weights too. So I'm gonna go do that and then Chelsea and I are gonna go fishing and it's gonna be cold. What's the temperature? Yeah, it's gonna be cold. It's 34 right now. It's okay. We'll bundle up. I just had deja vu. Probably because I've said that before. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna hook them like this. Right on the nose. Oh, oh really? Yeah. And then it's gonna swim along. Wait, let Make me sure see Make sure you that. just get it like that. Isn't that gonna come off? Nope. Huh. Then what do you do? Just keep your rod tip up and real slow. We decided to try the pond that we were at in the last video. It was not iced over a week ago, and it hasn't really been uh, too, too much below freezing. I don't, I just really hope it's not iced over right now. That little puddle of water over there looked kind of frozen, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well. It's frozen. At least this is a good sign because it'll hopefully get iced over so we can ice fish sooner. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have fun, Chelsea? No, you didn't. <laughs> At least it's looking like the ice is getting back on the water. Should be thick enough to ice fish soon. <laughs> Did you think I'd catch a fish, Chip? Chip, you're supposed to make me feel better. Well, another one of them days, no fish. The truth is usually I hang up my poles in the winter and I just don't fish. Chip, could you stop that? It's been my experience around here if the fish just don't bite in the winter, but uh, I could just be like really bad at winter fishing because you know, you, it's possible, I've seen it in videos that people catch fish in the winter, I just, not me. <laughs> but this here, I made some ice fishing lures and got some ice fishing stuff. And I'm just waiting for the ice, you know? So, next video, it's gonna be uh, something different. I thought I'd just tell you guys right now what, what the plan is. Um, I think that I've thought of a way to make a fishing reel mostly out of wood with like brass gears and a real spinning reel 
It's going to be a challenge, but that's the plan for the next video. And uh, I don't know, my mind today has just been racing about how I'm actually going to do this. I'm pretty confident in it. I think I can figure it out. I think I can make it. I think it's going to be cool. On to the next fishing reel. It doesn't make sense because I didn't, haven't made one yet. I should just stick to on to the next bait for every video. On to the next bait.